everybody and welcome to New Life Plus. I am your host, Eric Mayer. And I'm Tom. Today we have an interesting topic. Um, Tom just got a new job. I did. Congrats, Tom. Thank he you. is substituting part-time at local high schools and elementary schools, middle schools, whatever. Yes, um, I am. And I want you to tell us about that. Uh... Because the thought of you molding the minds of children is laughable at best. Eric, <laughs> I... <laughs> Graduated in the top ten percent of my high school. Is I went. Are you top ten? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I don't even remember what number I am. I I, I say top ten because it was because our class was five hundred kids. Yeah, five hundred plus. Yeah, I don't remember what number I was. I think I was in the two hundreds. I have no idea. I honestly forget. I honestly did not strive to do much in high school. No. To be perfectly honest, in high school I went to hang out with friends, have fun, and run track. Yeah, I, I was far more interested in everything else. Everything else besides classes. I mean, like I got I got decent grades, but like, but like was not my main focus by no. any means. It's like why try hard when you can do like decent without trying. Yeah, it's like I could literally get it passing grades, like A's and B's, without doing homework at all. Like oh no, most of the time, no. like I never did homework. It was not even worth it. No, but I mean, did I learn much in high school? Mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. Got them. But, like, besides <laughs> so that, know. besides that, no. I mean, I mean, I don't think anybody really remembers, like, everything, no. The, like, main things. Like, the only things I remember from high school are things I went over again in college. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So it's like, all the sciences are fresh. Some of the math is fresh. Not even, though. But, like, like you can tell me, like, if you ask me, like, Oh, when we went over Shakespeare for the hundredth time. Uh, Shakespearean in high school, sonnets. They do. They have fourteen lines. I am best amateur. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> but like, besides stupid things like that that stand out, I remember actually nothing from my school. Oh yeah, of course not. It's like I think the majority of it is just like you learn to learn. Yes, you learn to learn, and I think that the big thing is to see how much effort you put forth, and that is, and. How you are willing to learn for like a college level, for like college or for like job experiences. I mean, for job experiences, you really don't need to outside of college. I don't know. That really should... I know college experience counts as job experience for some things, like any mortgage, that sort of thing. Um, in some cases, not in all cases, obviously. Um, but for a lot of jobs, it's like if you want like four years experience of science of some sort, you can use your college uh -huh. years sometimes. Ah, <laughs> I can tell you guys that is false. As a biochem major, I've had, I've been working in labs in throughout college, and they say that I need more experience for entry level jobs. At least one year experience for entry level jobs. Yep. Well, well they, how do you get, the majority of them are entry. Level. How do you get entry level if you're not? They want you to take more internships. Oh, I yeah. see. What you're so um, it's. It's, it's kind of like a paid internship somewhere. I want to work. <laughs> <laughs> no. You work so much. I mean, yeah, but... But that's, I mean, that's where I'm going, but... I mean, it's a family business. I am a businessman. Yeah, you're a solid entrepreneur you are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but tell me about um, what something's like. Because I don't think you've ever worked with kids before, have you? Oh, uh, no, but... I have not worked with kids before. Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Did you? Yeah, I did that. I know. That's cool. Yeah, no. That what have you been doing that? Is it, is it like you get a specific kid and you like mold them? Yeah, you you mentor them, you mold their minds, and you shape them into a person. Good to know. Yeah, imagine but, that. But like, now. what is the, like that <laughs> Big Brother, Big Sister? Is that just like uh, it's like a once a week hangout type thing, or is it, what is it? Yeah, you hang out once a week. Uh, you do different activities. Me and my little brother. We used to play basketball a lot. He likes basketball. And yeah, uh, we we ran around. Sometimes we we played with the other kids too, which you're supposed to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time to like help keep get them focused and have them talk about what their hope like what their goals are and trying to help them nudge them in the right direction. But oh, so just having somebody there sometimes yeah. is nice. I feel like just having a role model as long as you're not a complete asshole is like Something a lot of kids need. But no, anyway, it's like, so I've been working with kids since I was literally 16 years old. I worked at camps for literally ever. I um, worked in after school programs. And so, like, watching some of you guys go, like, John started working with me. Oh, God. 
<laughs> yeah, at a camp, probably, I guess it was three years ago that he worked there with me, and it was funny. Like, to see him interact with kids for the first time was really funny. Because, like, to me, it's felt so natural because, like, I've been doing it for years, whatever. Because I got started when my mom was a camp director at Treasure Valley. She was camp director for a couple years. So I worked with her when I was, like, 14, 15. Okay. Just because, I mean, you can't get a job in Massachusetts anyway until you're 16. Um, so I, did, I just did things with her because I was technically a camper, I think, or a CIT or something like that. Um, but after that, it's like, I just like the camp environment, so I just kept working in it. So it's yeah. like working with kids is like second nature, but then to like see John now interact with kids, I think he stopped. He did it very briefly. Um, I've heard his horror stories. <laughs> not very good at it. <laughs> Don't tell him no. I mean, John, you should be watching this, so it doesn't matter. I love I think you. John did watch the last one. Yeah. Oh, that was Hi, John. Good. Hi, John. Good. Um, but anyway, so what's it like? Come podcast because some more. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He'll never be back. Why? Um, but like working with high schoolers, especially, it's like, isn't that? Ah, uh, it's not really, honestly. Look, I've had not bad experiences, honestly. Uh, with the high schoolers, they care about the majority of them care about what they're doing. They don't want to get in trouble, which helps me in a sense of and mm-hmm. I try to be a little bit relaxed with them, but not too relaxed because I don't want them. To think that they can just do whatever they want because the sub is there. That's fair. Yeah. But I also feel like older kids, like, they understand how to act. But they act out on purpose. Yeah, exactly. But when it's, like, little kids, they kind of act at an impulse. Wait, people don't act on impulse all the time. (laughs) People are literally just doing things for the sake of doing things. Um, But no, because I taught after school for kindergarten for a while I had my classroom. There was one other teacher with me, or two, depending on the day of the week. Um, but I was like head of the classroom. And like working with kindergartners, some of them get it. But yeah. some just absolutely do not get it. And they just they'll be going about their day and just feel the need to make a noise. Oh yes. Or yell or do something that just an adult or some anybody that's old enough to be in high school would just not think of doing it. like they're like Oh, I need to not scream at the top of my lungs for no reason right now. <laughs> it's like, or oh, I should probably not take my pants off or run around the hallways, that sort of thing. No, that's that's a fair assumption. But again, kids, surprised. number of kids that like little kids who will just like say you're changing for swim or something, they'll just be like walk out of the bathroom, butt naked, and be like, hey, there you go. But it's like in the little like in the hallway and with everybody watching, it's like oh okay. I mean, it, you're, a bold, I, you're a bold guy. But I mean, if it's like, if they do it naturally, they're, and they're not doing it like to cause trouble, there's a different... No, they're just like, they don't know. Yeah. But it's, it's just, it's blows my mind sometimes. Yeah, no. I don't think, I think going out naked as a child to me would be like, what are you doing, man? I'm sure but I like some, But like, in some places, some kids, they're just like, whatever. But yeah, when you're like five years old, you're just like, whatever. Yeah. No, I was never like that. I, I don't think I was. I don't I, think I was either. But I mean, who knows? I don't remember my childhood that really. I know I was a perfect specimen, so I mean... Yeah, your, your parents loved every minute of having you. <laughs> thank you. I'll tell them. I'll tell them thank you. <laughs> or they yeah. should be thanking me, I should say. I mean, because uh, going back to the subject thing, like, high school was not that long ago. It's like we're five years out of high school now. Yeah. But I mean, so it was like, so you're fairly close to the kids, and also it's like, have you run into any of the old teachers? Yes, I have. That is actually a little awkward and exciting at the same time. Because, no, nothing on you, Tom, but I feel like some of the teachers are going to be like, this kid's subbing? Excuse me? I have not seen the ones that hate me yet. Okay. I have not seen those. I have seen the ones that are like, he should put more, in more effort, he should, stop, he, should stop, he should hang on the talking a little bit, but none of them that are like, oh, this guy. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. But well, because we weren't bad kids in school. No, we weren't. Certainly. Like, we we were nice. We never, like, got night fights or anything. But, like, every once in a while, if we were, like, in class with each other. Oh, we were we were rowdy. We could be rowdy. Yes. I, I will give it that. But, like, for the most part, like, we were fairly quiet. We were good kids. Like, none of us ever, like, spent time in detention, that sort of thing. No, Not actually, often. no. Honestly. I got a couple detentions in high school. What have you done? One, my phone went off in my pocket, and, like, the teacher didn't like me already because I was lazy. Um, so as soon as it went off, she was like, 
give it here. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's like all right, thanks. And then I get the attention off of that. Mm -hmm. um, that might have been the only one, actually. Fair. I don't Pretty sure I avoided a lot of it, like every other one. Yeah. I mean, it was hard to get attention in high school. Yeah, you really had to be trying. Like, you had yeah. to be just blatantly disrespectful. Disrespectful, yeah. You got, you got to really be pushing it with the teachers. Because a lot of teachers, like, going back and, like, teaching kids myself or teaching what it's like taking care of kids myself, it's like, I don't think you, that... like, for me to tell a kid they have detention, they have to push me so far. Yeah. Because, like, it's just easier to just, like, gain respect with them and then just rely on that. And it's like, to, to actually need, like, when I worked at the JCC in Worcester, the Jewish Community Center, um, with my classrooms, it's like the amount of times I would bring kids to like the principal or, or like our director there would be so far and few between. It's like you really had to push my buttons to get that. So it's like I feel like teachers, like looking back now, I'm like, wow, like they just really don't don't want us to be a pain. No, exactly. And I feel like the biggest thing is, um, I had something really important to say. I swear. <laughs> I can't remember it now, but it was important. It was so important. <laughs> Eric, I'm sorry. Um, no, I. The, uh, go ahead. God, darn I'm sorry, it. I'm interrupting your train of thought. No, I, it's already gone. <laughs> um, I, okay, here it was. Kids, I feel like are not aware of what they're doing because you can tell that when you're like, okay, you guys are being loud. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, and then they then they stop being loud as they were. It's not like they're doing it to like push your buttons. They're just like trying to hang out, talk with their friends, and then like the levels escalate more and more. Is the biggest thing that I that I've seen. Like you know, yeah. you know how every like when you start talking to me and you, mm -hmm. then the people next who start talking, you're like, oh, I have to talk a little yeah, bit. Like they get join in the conversation, or, or like they're just talking to you. Like, I get right. Yeah, and then the noise level just increases on everywhere, and then you're like, that everybody's loud, and they're like, no, my back's really up. Common with subs because a lot of times you just get busy work, right? Is that still a thing? Uh, like yes. When we started subs, it was like you're either watching a movie or you're doing busy work. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like you really, if you had any choice of the matter, like if you were in college or something and the teacher was out, you just wouldn't have class because you'd never get anything productive done. Like, there's no point being in class with a sub most of the time. Uh, it's glorified babysitter, but it is fun yeah. because the kids are, they think that I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> How wrong they are. Uh,. I can drink and buy my own alcohol. Gosh, so you're an adult. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Adult <laughs> <laughs> um, no, honestly, it's it's kind of like being a babysitter in some ways, but in other, but yeah, they if they do need help, of course I'll help them. It's what's that? Like what subjects have you taught yet so far? Math. I've done what levels of math? Ah, I'll, not even algebra. It was like seventh grade math. So oh, so I was like, he's still using math. We were doing the distributive property. Ooh. Three, like three parentheses, x plus four, and you get the solute, the answer being three x plus twelve. Killing it. Thank you. Yeah, but like, what do you do? Like, my mother um, subs on occasion. Yeah. Just because she must do. Um, but like, she was a long-term sub in a, it was like a pre, no, it was like a, it was some kind of math class, but she's like, she doesn't like math. No. I mean, like, she just doesn't like math. So it was like, a lot of the things they were doing, she just like didn't remember how to do, because she's been a writer all her life, she hasn't had to use a lot of these skills for anything. Um, so it's like, her coming home to like grade papers, or like when kids would ask her a question in school, it'd be like... Listening to her try to struggle her way around those questions was really funny to me. Because, like, oh, I need an answer and I need to help you or I want to help you in most cases. But it's like, I don't know how. And it's like, I feel like that blows kids' minds. Because, what do you mean? Well, because, like, the teacher is like, okay, this teacher's here to help me. Yes. Can you help me? It's like, I don't know how to. Oh, okay, now I get So I feel like with subs, it's like, you they have to either give you something that is just purely... I lie. Doable? Or, or do you just like try to just BS your way through it? Oh, of course I BS my way through it. Um, it's, with math, I can, I, math I know. It, math and science I can figure out. Mm -hmm. It's when it comes to like, today we had, I was substituting for art. <laughs> <laughs> I am not artistically inclined, to can, put it nicely. Can we do a, a, a video art night? Like do one of those draw along videos and write that down? <laughs> 
after we do that, you will see how good I am at art. I think it'd be really funny to watch you draw, or like, and watch me try to draw. But you can draw. I can't draw. What are you talking about? I like, as a kid, I like to draw. And I was okay at it. I was like, for like little middle school me, I could sketch pretty well. Okay, and I was yeah. like, the peak, the peak of my artistic existence, um, with drawing anyway. But like, no, I'm horrible at it. Now, I always thought paint, painting would be really cool, but I never put in the time or effort. And I feel like I'd be horrible at it. I mean, it's all about practice at that point. It's all about. Yeah, I don't actually know how to learn how to paint and stuff. I do, I like to draw like abstract because and like <laughs> I like to draw shapes. Those are my favorite. Yeah. Just to see how that works with different colors. Painting. I agree. I'd be no bueno. Yeah. See, my problem is, and now we're on an art tangent now, um, is like in my mind I can visualize what I want to do and how to do it because like it's very much with woodworking. It's the same thing. It's like oh. I have this idea, this is what I want it to look like, this is how I want it to be presented. And it's like, with wood, I can make it happen. Because, like, I just, I know my material. But with drawing, it's like, I get, I start, and I'm like, oh, this sort of makes sense, this is how I would do it. And I'm like, this looks like garbage. It's like, I feel like it's just a training thing. Yeah, I, I mean. Just, I just don't have the. I think it's like everything. You might have the tools to do what you need to do, as in the pen, pencil, paper, whatever mm -hmm. it is. And then, but when you come to implement it, it's just. At this point, we're not good enough to... Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of muscle memory involved. Just because, like, to make the smooth lines or, like, the correct shape of a line or whatever, it's... To be able to do... Have that dexterity to do that is just so trained and so, so much muscle memory involved. Yeah. I'm really bad at shading. Like, really, really bad at shading. I never understood shading. Like, part of it was, like... Like, all the sketches I did as a kid were, like, very, like, two-dimensional. They were very flat. They had no shading, no depth, whatever. Um... And I was like, I always like looked up YouTube videos when I was trying to do that to like get shading, but it's like it would just never come out right. No, you know? I agree with that. It was like, oh, it, like that, it kind of has the idea of it, but it's like my shading looks very like white to black. Yeah, it's no. like, because it's, they, they do this like it looks like they're doing it like easy, a, but yeah, they have like a gradient. Not, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But it just it just kind of like goes light to dark, nicely transitioned. But mine is like, all right, you have the paper and you have the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, there's, there's no in between. No, there was an in between. There, w there was just like a little gray, and then it, it was just dark gray, white. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and besides that, I was like, ah, this is this is not. Correct. I feel like it helps to have like those harder pencils. But it's like you see people doing it with like, well, like regular pencils. Pencil. Yeah. I was like, all right, well, I'm bad at this. True. But yeah. So I, I take art classes. Interesting. I take I take art class. No, like teaching it. Oh, oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys have to do? Was it? Ooh, what were they doing? Today we made haunted houses. I left mine there. Wait, what? We made haunted houses out of like on pieces of paper and pen with pencils. Oh, okay. I left mine there. I could have shown you guys my artwork. That would have been cool, actually. You should get that. We should. <laughs> you should bring it. We'll put it on the wall. If you guys didn't notice, we're people watching on YouTube. We're in a completely new space than we were last time we tried video. Um, we're kind of bouncing around the house trying to figure out a good spot for audio and video to work nicely. Um, which can be a struggle sometimes. So we might have to set up something. One day. One day we'll, one day we yeah. will. I think if we put our minds to it, we can... Well, I'd like to anything. get some... I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get some audio foam and set things up so it's like we actually have like a nice sound environment. Yeah. Um, I can do a good chunk of editing to make it sound decent and good. Um, and we have a nice microphone, which helps. And where did you learn how to do these things? Uh, YouTube. Oh. I feel like I've, on YouTube. <laughs> I have learned more from YouTube than, than I've ever learned in school. That is fair. But with YouTube, you can learn things that you want to learn. Exactly. And, and things that you have to learn. Like, but with school, you, you have to figure out your own applications for things, which I thought was dumb. Well, YouTube and the internet, it's, it's sometimes used more than just YouTube, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I've learned how to, like, for, my, for computers, for instance, like, I learned how to build a computer, how to do all that. Um, cause I'd, I'd build my own custom computers just cause I enjoy it. Um, I was like, now I'm learning how to video edit and I was screwing around with that. Um, with different videos, I don't do a lot for like these videos just cause they're fairly straightforward. But I was like, I've done a couple other videos I've been like trying around with so I can... I saw that video. Do, st <laughs> <laughs> do stuff in the future with that. Which is a lot of fun, but as I auto, like how to adjust the audio, that sort of thing, make it sound good. Um, 
but it's like it feels so much more practical to learn that sort of stuff uh, with school and the difference between school and YouTube YouTube and learning from the internet I feel like it's fantastic don't get me wrong however you only learn the solution to the problem that you're looking for in most cases whereas in school I guess, I, I guess that's fair yeah yeah like with school you might learn how to say do the distributed property but nowhere in the world will they tell you when you apply that ever. Yeah. That's, that's the fair. problem. But when you but you have the tools, you just need to learn how to implement them. Well, I feel like a lot of learning through YouTube that sort of thing is you learn the basics, and so you understand the basics of things, which gives you the room to experiment and play with things and learn how to do it more effectively. True. No, that's fair. So it's like I mean. I'm not saying I'm like a computer scientist or anything like that through YouTube, <laughs> but like you I've learned be. how to do my fair share of things with technology and computers and that sort of thing. Yes, no, no, no. I don't, I don't deny that. Well, because it's because a lot of people on YouTube, whoever, if you're making a video on YouTube, it's because you're passionate about whatever you're doing. Yes, for the most part, it's like no one's, no one's slogging their way to their YouTube work. And be like, oh, I hate everything I'm doing. It's like no, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, a lot of YouTubers like. I'm sure they burn out and they like they get tired of the jobs that sort of thing. But it's like none of them are doing what they're doing because they're not passionate about it. It's like they're not like reliant on a boss to do things. Um, so it's like they have so much freedom. It's like because they're so passionate about it, I feel like you get a deeper understanding. Whereas a teacher standing up at the front of the class lecturing at you, they tend to be less enthusiastic. Like the teacher being less passionate about the work that they're teaching. Yeah, I feel like it gets old once you've taught the same thing for ten years in a row. That is fair. But if, unless uh, the thing with the teacher is, if you don't enjoy teaching people how to do things, why are you being a teacher? Yeah, no, I'm sure like teachers enjoy it, but I think it's a different level of enjoyment, like like the, the satisfaction of like learn of understanding that somebody has learned something and that they're gonna use that knowledge to a greater use. I feel like that is the great that is one of the that's a great feeling to me. Yeah, it's like no, I enjoy teaching people as well. Like like I said, I've worked my kids forever, but like. YouTube, when you make your first, your not even your first video, your video about a subject, and it's like, you're like, okay, I want to do this, I want to get it right, I want to make it really nice. Yeah. But if you're teaching your class for the fifth year in a row, same subject, same thing you do, and you're doing it to all your classes, you're saying you have six classes a week. And it's like, once you're on class 600 over so many years, it's like, you're no longer like invested in it. That's fair. No, that is fair. But... Eric, I, me and you have different ideas on how to do a YouTube video. I would, <laughs> I would, I would make my videos in the beginning look completely garbo, not by oh sorry, cool. not by like choice, but just by like, I wouldn't know what to do. But after after doing one, two, three videos, I'd be like, okay, this is what this is. I watch it back, rerun it, rerun it, say, okay, I didn't like this. How do I change this? Mm -hmm. And then I'd go. At least I have something up just to keep the ball rolling. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it, but it gives you things to experiment with. Exactly. Like even like this here, it's like each week I'm trying. I, I adjust and do new things with the sound with the video. And I'm Boom. Doing it. It's done. like and each week we do new things too, and it makes it easier for us to talk and go back and forth. And you can't make me do new things. Figure out you'll do whatever the hell you do. Oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like so. Yeah, no, I I appreciate that I learned things in high school and that it taught me how to learn. I guess. But it's like I much preferred learning by the things that through you want to learn. trial and error and like oh hell yeah. and other learning through my own motivation rather than being forced to. I think is what it really comes down to. You see, I love learning on my own. However, I only want to learn on my own when it's two a.m. and it's time for bed. <laughs> that is I feel like that's like the workout mentality too, right? It's like oh. It's 12 p.m. It's like, oh, you know what? I feel so bad today. You know what? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up early. I'm going to work out. I'm going to do it every day. Next morning, it's like 10 a.m. It's like, I'll do it tomorrow. Did you read my mind? <laughs> <laughs> Did you read my diary? <laughs> but no, it's very much with the learning things, too. It's like when yes. I could stay up and not have to work at 6 in the morning. Um, I would stay up to like 4 a.m. just doing stuff. Yes. Because like it's like, oh, I have the time. I can just do it. So it's like, I learned how to do things. Like, I learned how to paint models. I learned how to... Uh, I've been more, learning more so how to upgrade and do things with my PC. Um, but it's like, it's so nice to have like that time. Just feel like, in the middle of the night, learning how to do stuff. 
Yes, because I feel like there's no just no outside pressures at that point. Because like, yeah, exactly. If you screw up, you, you screw up. Whatever. No, nobody, nobody sees anything. I mean, not like not only that, but it's like when I'm at home, I don't want to go like do like an experiment downstairs because my parents can see me like what are you doing <laughs> and then i have to explain the same. there's so many things i want to do it's like oh i really want to learn how to do this but if someone sees me trying to learn how to do this it's gonna look really hot it's like if it was one of you guys it's like if we all live together or whatever yeah. if it was one of you guys i'd be like whatever you'd, you'd walk in and you see me doing something probably ridiculous and you'd be like can i try yeah no, like, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely but you do that and like your mom walks in it's like I swear this isn't what it looks like. I'm not doing anything weird. I'm just trying something. Oh, but then you have to explain what you're doing, and exactly. and then you're going to be taken away to know. Exactly. Well, like even doing YouTube videos, it's like for the first, I was like so embarrassed, to, like do it by myself, like in my room, because like my parents, could, it's like my family could probably like hear me doing it with the microphone, as I like, hear me talking, as like it's so it makes you so self conscious. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I haven't told my parents yet. Yeah, my my parents know. They, 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 obviously, they're not gonna care or whatever. But it's like it's a, it's like a mental thing. It's like oh, it's isn't it weird? Don't I'm, aren't I gonna be awkward? <laughs> it's like I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Mom, stop. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm two hundred percent, hundred percent. It's like that's probably the biggest reason why why I want to live. By myself, so I can do stupid so things I and no way would judge me. Yeah, I mean, if you judge me, I'd be like, "Shut up, Eric." Go away. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> or like, Eric, you want to come do this thing? Yeah, well, yeah. With friends, it's like, let's learn to play piano. If beat. you're interested in doing something that's ridiculous, your friends are probably interested in doing the same ridiculous thing. True. No, I agree with. That. <laughs> and if it is super embarrassing, they're probably just gonna laugh at you. If you laugh at me, I die. <laughs> But it's like there's no judgment. No, no, of course, yes, yes, yes. I mean, there might be judgment, but it's quiet judgment. It's loud. Actually, it's, it's loud. It's loud judgment. I, I prefer it's loud judgment. It's, 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 very, it's very vocal judgment. It, if it's quiet judgment, then I'm like, they are judging me. Like, but if it's loud judgment, it's like it gets they get done. Right? It's done. Yeah, yeah. It's like a band well, Yeah, yeah. No, I, I like it that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like me and Ian have started to play around with making videos, um, just because he was interested too. We'll update you guys on that once we figure out what we're going to do with getting up with the schedule. Um, but, like, because you and I have been doing this podcast for a while, it's like we've been doing for over a month now. Up top. Yeah. It's like this is our fifth episode. Subscribe. <laughs> Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, like, comment, but this is our fifth comment. episode, and we've been doing it for a couple weeks, for a couple months now. And I had a podcast before this that I did that I tried to do for work, um, I ended up stopping it because it, I, I just wasn't liking the way it came out. Um, but it's like, so I'm kind of getting used to like talking with a camera in front of me and talking to a microphone. Um, so it's like, I don't feel any hesitation. It's like, I just feel like I'm having a conversation. Yeah. But <laughs> when we were doing just trial videos, I was like, no one's gonna see these, we're just trying things out, whatever. It's like, it would be so awkward, it was really funny. So. <laughs> And I feel the same way, Eric. You guys, I'm like this all the time. It's not just for the videos. No, he's actually just a doofus. Yes. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's like it's it's no changes. If you if you see me hanging out with Eric at any time, I'd probably be like this. Probably a little bit more. I'm kind of a pain. Like, mm -hmm. You don't even know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but yeah, so I think we've kind of exhausted this talking about. Unless you have anything else to add to something, um, not really. It's just it's fun. Yeah, I, I, I like messing around with the kids, and I like and I like talking to them because they're so. I don't know. Was I feel like well, some of them I feel like are just like, young, slightly younger versions of us. Like like I said before, high school is not that long ago for us. Yeah, no. like my younger sister Abby, who I hang out with, like. Decently, does she, like, she dab all the she's a, she's a senior in high school right now, so oh. it's like. Yeah, I'm not going to hang out with her friends. Like, that's weird. Because, like, they're five years younger than me. But in co in the context of, like, teacher-student relationship, five years feels like nothing. No, you're right. You're right. Like, like I got turned down a volleyball coaching position because they thought I was too close to their age. That's kind of 
It, 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 it was a, it was a girls volleyball team. It's like I was, I was applying for both men and women's volleyball coach. Um, and they were like, it was a couple years ago too. So I was only like 21 and they, they were seniors. So like three years younger than me. So they were like, yeah, we can't give you the job because you're so young. I was like, I kind of understand that. Yeah. I was like, that could get weird. But I mean, potentially. It's like, obviously if I was a coach, I'm not going to do anything funky with any, like, any of my players. But like, th- there is that possibility in the minds of other people. So it's like, I kind of understand that. But also like, some, but something, it's like five years really isn't that much different either. No, but I don't want to deal with the, anybody that I'm teaching. Because, well, yeah, of course. Because I'm just like, go away. I, I like my job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't care about like, you. I don't want anything to do with you. I just want I just want to get my money. Yeah, well, Not you, a, you yeah. and I, and, and most people we know, would be very much like that. It's like, yeah, this is a professional setting. Yeah. I'm, I'm your superior here, whatever. Nothing's going to happen. But it's like, I can see how some people, if they're only a couple years older, could get in trouble. Especially yeah. if it's a, a long-term subbing thing where you see the same people over and over again. Like with a coach. I, true, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like in those situations, it's... If you if you see them so ah no you're right I mean we're just home. yeah because with subbing you see the same you see the class one day or a few days at a time and then you're just gone but like in a coaching coaching position it's like months at a time and you're just like you're working closely together I can I can see how that would be could be a problem do you have, do you have any work relationships Eric no uh-huh. I only work with men and there's two of them <laughs> no I mean I was just wondering what do you think about work workplace relationships. With like coworkers, I as a rule have always avoided it, just because I've seen people do it, and then it makes things really awkward. Like working at the Jewish Community Center, because I worked there for I worked there for five years in various positions. I was there for a long time, yeah. Um, but like I always had my group of friends there because we all worked at the same time. But it's like I never dated any of them because it's like you don't. As a rule, I kind of, like, I never push for it just because, like, I feel like... The aftermath. The aftermath would be a problem. Both at work and also, like, in our entire friend group. Could have been weird. Um, but I, now I have another question. Mm-hmm. Would, is that not just assuming that they'd be failure right away? <laughs> I'd float. Well, yeah, of course, of course there's a possibility that it works out. Um, but, no, I, I always avoided it. As, as no, like, no. Because I, you work very closely with these people and you don't want to get awkward, especially when there's kids involved. No, that makes sense. I agree. I follow that same philosophy too. It doesn't. Uh, um, this especially. Uh, no. I mean, yes, it makes sense. I don't want to be dealing. Or, I, the aftermath is the most awkward part, yeah. and you don't want work to be awkward because you're going to be there for a while. Well, even not the aftermath, because working at camp and after school program and stuff like that, people would start dating. And, like, some people had a problem separating work from social time. Yeah, but that's weird. Yeah. So, it's like, so the kids would catch on, and then they'd ask for questions, and it's like, that'd be a problem sometimes. Yeah, no, I, I don't like people that can't separate personal and work life. Yeah, it's like, if, if I'm dating you and we work together, sure, that's great. But don't, like, come up to me and, like, try to hold my hand or whatever or something like that. Hey, baby. How you uh, doing? Oh, hey, baby. Well, stop it. <laughs> We're working, Tom. Oh, hello. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. No, that's just my opinion on it. Um, and I mean, some people do it just fine and have no problem. Yeah, no. So. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just saying it's not something that I would go for personally. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did. All right. I think we're gonna move on just because we've kind of exhausted this little little bit here. Um, we figured because. We have, like, what, 20 minutes left of this podcast, something like that? We thought it'd be fun to play Would You Rather. Um, I don't know what brought on the conversation about it. Uh, Would you rather talk for another 20 minutes, or would you rather play Would You Rather? rather? (laughs) (laughs) I feel like we're going to be talking for another 20 minutes regardless, I think. You know, Eric? Yeah, I got you there, didn't I? Uh, All right, uh, let's just start off. I have a whole list of questions that I have never seen before, so we're just going to kind of go into it and debate about it. We're probably going to not go through too many questions because I feel like there's going to be debates that are bred through these questions. You can't tell me to conform to your ideas, <laughs> you imperial scum. <laughs> <laughs> imperial scum. Like that. All right, you want to start or want me to start? Oh, it's, you start. All right, um, let's try to find a good one here. 
That's what I'm struggling with. Um, ah, would you rather cross a river with piranhas or crocodiles? That's a stupid question. <laughs> I'd rather take the bridge. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the bridge or not cross it off. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I prefer crocodiles. Yeah. No. Yeah. Crocodiles are scary, though. But you crocodiles can see them. Scary, but you can see them. Yeah. yeah. Piranhas are just going to, like, come bite your legs off out of nowhere. Yeah, and then they're, they're going to be wielding lightsabers the entire time. <laughs> 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 Really, if you don't understand that joke, then you need some Star Wars theme or one of the Star Wars songs. Um, all right, so that one's kind of straightforward. Um, some of these are dark. Like, would you rather accidentally be responsible for the death of a child or accidentally be responsible for the death of three adults? That's dark. So I'm gonna go with three adults. I'd go with the child. Cause then, if you go, if you, I mean, yeah, the child dies, but like three people live. I guess that's true. But, but, like, three adults, two of them are probably assholes anyway. Uh, you're just, making like, assumptions in this situation. I I'm, I'm, make, situation. I'm making this by pure logic. <laughs> I don't, the way I always, like, I'm always going to go for the, like, protect the kid before an adult. That's fair. I guess that, it depends on how many. Like, if it was with 20 adults, I'd be like, all right, let the kid die. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible as that sounds, but it's like that's twenty lives. But if you think about it, it like uh, I don't know, kids. Yes, they have the potential to be whatever they want and have have unlimited growth potential. However, three adults that is that is one versus three in my mind, and it's around equivalent in that sense. I feel you. It's a it's a tough one. It's a tough one. We're gonna we're gonna stop there because I don't feel like going into it. <laughs> That's that's something you really talk about forever, and that's a much more deep podcast than that one to happen. Uh, would you rather be the richest person in the world, or have any superpower of your choice? Any superpower of my choice. Huh. No question. What? No question. Because if you have any superpower of your choice, you are the richest person in the world. If you do it right. Ah, true. But if you're the richest person in the world, you can buy things that make you feel like you have superpowers. I guess so. Like, being super rich would obviously have a perk, because you can really just do whatever you want. But imagine being able to teleport. Oh, like, we went over this in the superhero pod, like, the po- podcast where we were talking about superpowers for some reason. Or, I don't even remember how we got onto it, but we were talking about superpowers. We need to revisit that, by the way. I feel like we could have our little superhero tournament. I feel like that would be fun. Yes. Um, but no, I feel like having any superpower you can think of just gives you so many options. It's like, you could choose something that would be so cool, and you could really just make a lot of money using it, too. No, you're, you're right with that. It. You are right with that, but then you have to work to get the money. I mean, I guess so. Just like, just being there, like, if you hit the $2 billion Powerball, I know you're not the richest person in the world, but you're the richest person but in your world. We were talking about that because we were talking about how Powerball is, so it's big right now. It's like a couple billion, it's like a billion dollars, something like that. It's super high. Yeah. Um, and me and Abby and Ian, my brother and sister, were talking about it in the car. We were going to the mall the other day. I was buying new shoes. Um, got nice new shoes, by the way. Got nice new work boots, and I got a nice pair of dress sneakers. What'd you get me really nice? Uh, nothing. We also got. Have you ever been to Cinnabon? Cinnabon? Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. People, I don't know where Cinnabon. I don't know if it's a very specific store or like a chain. I don't know. Chain. I think. I think if it's a chain, is probably just local. Maybe not. I don't know. They're delicious. Yes. But they're like these giant gooey cinnamon buns in there. Mmm. <laughs> they get me going, Tom. <laughs> Do you buy a dozen? No, we bought one of these. Eric, why? Because Instead of buying the dozen for when you get home. They're like five dollars a piece. They're and expensive cinnamon buns. And what, do, what else do you want for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a very good point. But um, actually, my dad used to make cinnamon buns for, um, and, I, and I made that at some point too for like Christmas and stuff. I love cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns with a nice cup of coffee. Uh, yeah. I should make cinnamon buns again. What's coming up? You Thanksgiving know, is, but Thanksgiving, you don't really have other food to deal with. There's too much food on Thanksgiving. Christmas is a good time for it. I always thought it was a Christmas thing. It's like you make them Christmas Eve, so you have them on Christmas morning. It's a brilliant idea. But, like, they take, like, six hours to make. But, like, like you can do it overnight. Hours. Yeah. So. No, because you have to, like, you do it with a yeast, though, so you got to let it rise. 
Weak dough. Weak dough. <laughs> 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 I don't know what to say. We should, can, we, can we do that as our first um, cooking with dummies? <laughs> Cinnamon one? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that would be fun. It would, it would be a lot of fun. But that's something like we know how to make. But it's, it's probably still going to be a hot mess. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're, we're actually going to do that, by the way. We're gonna, we are gonna got to figure out where we're going to do that. Uh, we could do it at my house. I feel like your kitchen is better set up for it. If we can, obviously, if your parents don't mind. My we're gonna, we're gonna make sure they're not set there. Up for like <laughs> filming. It's kind of awkwardly spaced out. Yours, you have that. Everything's yeah. Everything's yeah, there. We can just use the island. Yeah, because my island has the overhead lights, so they just be like right behind us. We can. I have those two, but we can turn them off. Yeah, we can. We can make. Yeah, it I work. think we can make it work. Yeah, let's talk about that. We should do that this weekend. Friday, I can't. Saturday, we have the party. Oh yeah, we gotta do costumes. Oh, I, I need here. to shop. It'll take a day off work and be like, I'm going to go buy my pirate costume. I do I do that Friday. I didn't do it earlier this week. And What time are you out of work Friday? Uh, Friday? Oh, I have to go to choose it too. Um, I'm going to be done at, at 3 o'clock. And then at 7, I have to meet somebody up for my church. Gotcha. Church. What time is we'll, have to, we'll have to figure it out. Yeah, no, we will. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get it. We'll, we'll, get it. We'll, we'll post a picture of our costumes. I gotta, I gotta figure out what the best way. Like I post everything through Facebook. Just don't get scurvy. <laughs> Eat them oranges. <laughs> but no, we'll just set up a um, Twitter account or something. Or uh, I guess to do a Facebook. Twitter is more popular though, I think. Yeah. I have a Twitter account. I think I have one follower. I'm really killing. I think it's Abby. I think it's my sister. Killing it, dude. Yeah, like I'm a popular guy. <laughs> I think I've made two posts since I did it. That sounds like my. And Instagram. one of them was definitely a like. Okay, here's the podcast. Listen to it. And that's probably it. That's fair. Like honestly, I I was I'm never like up to date with like social media. I'm always doing something, whether it be important or not. I just can't stop. Well, so like taking the time to go to like and post and take a picture and find it and post it. It's like it doesn't seem it's not the person that goes in my mind. Yeah, it's not even that I'm like I don't have the time to post on social media. It's just I never think of doing it. Yeah, that too. It really. It's like it's, it feels like such a hassle. No, yeah, I mean it's not it's that, and it's like just don't feel the urge to. So when I don't feel the urge to do something, I just don't do yeah. it. Yeah, I feel like we should do it more to like promote the podcast and that sort of thing. Um, but I don't know how much that really. I guess social media does, but I feel like a lot of people go from content to social media, not social media to, con- to content. Yes, I don't know. Though. Cause like no, you I've never found like a YouTube channel through social media. It's like I found I, a YouTube channel through YouTube, and then I go to their social media. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, there's other people that enjoy this thing. Let's go see what people say. Yeah, because so, like you're joining the community type thing. So I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with it. Do that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we got more questions going on here. Ugh, nothing good. These questions are kind of yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed in this list I got. There's a ton of questions, but would you rather forget who you are or forget who everyone else is? Oh God. I have my answer. I already know. Really? What's your answer? Forget who I am. I forget everyone else. I'd rather forget who I am. Well, because I feel like so much of yourself is embedded in the people you know. I mean, say you move across the country and you just cut ties. I feel like that's about doing the same thing. Okay, yeah. But at the same time, if you forget who you are... could you? But you still know everybody else. So it's like, we'd still know each other, but I'd be like... I don't know my name, but I know you're Tom, and I know I like you most of the time. I mean, I try my best. <laughs> In both regards. <laughs> yeah, right? But also, I feel like you guys are just totally screwed with me. True. Like, if one of you came one day and was like, I'm here to hang out, but I have no idea who I am, I would, first of all, not believe you. Second of all, once we found out it was true, we would be screwing with you for days. But I mean, and but you'd come out so far scarred, like you'd have no idea who you are ever. <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, at that point, I feel like it's more also losing your experiences, your idealisms, and stuff like that. Yeah, so I you'd feel be like, like yeah. you'd be kind of like born anew in a way, which I think would be really cool. Yeah, I guess that'd be kind of cool. 
I can see your arguments from both sides. Actually, that's like, <laughs> this reminds me of, when I got my new phone, I lost a lot of my members, and I texted, I sent the group message in Facebook, and I was like, hey, guys, send me your numbers, I lost all of them. And every single one of you, without a pause, sent me your number with the wrong name. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> like, my phone, the way the contacts are set up, it, like, remembers past <laughs> names that I had for people. So when you call me and I'm, like, in my car and it comes up on the screen, it says, John Mazer call me. And oh, like, me. Oh, yeah, when you call. <laughs> and it's like, oh, what does John Mazer want? And it's Tom. I'm like, why is Tom? What? Why is it Tom? So that's, that messed me up. For, like, for days, I was texting the wrong people. That was, that was a fun time. <laughs> Every single one of you, nobody gave the right name. Wow. The fact that you were all on point, you were like, we're going to screw with him. We didn't. We you didn't talk anything. about it. No. No. Every one of you without dropping, like, no questions asked. You were just like, I'm this person. So I was going back and, like, scrolling through texts, like, trying to figure out who you are through context clues. <laughs> and apparently my conversations with, um, <laughs> with Tegan and Ty are very similar. <laughs> so I had to go back months until I found out until I found a text with Ty that I was like, oh, I want to go play disc golf. And I was like, oh, Ty. <laughs> oh, that I hated you guys that weekend. <laughs> oh. oh, that was funny. That was uh, not. Funny. I, I didn't know that it, that it gave you problems, but now I'm glad I know. <laughs> it wasn't like big problems. It was like it was a pain in the butt to go through. And oh, of course. That's the kind of problems I want to get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who it was, but somebody sent me through their phone the wrong name and in the in the text message itself the a different person's number. So like you know how you can do like um, send like contact tags. Yeah, yeah. It was it was like Dylan sending Tegan's name with Josh's phone number. <laughs> I don't remember who did it, but I was so mad at it because nothing was right, and I was like, wait, the, te- the phone texting me is a different number than the number they gave me. Oh. <laughs> and it's also not the one that matches the person. Uh, that was a fun time. <laughs> you guys didn't even realize. You were just, all of you were just asses from the start. I just, <laughs> honestly, I assumed everybody else would give me the right stuff, and I was just being. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I have two Johns, just the right John. <laughs> also, I probably never know. What? I, it's like, I could have asked you guys, but like, all right, come on, blah, blah, And you would have sent me just the wrong name again. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, no chance. Th- there's a difference between me and John, how, me, how me and John talk, though. <laughs> you <laughs> but, can notice that. Yeah, no, I can notice that pretty quick. Well, with a lot of you guys, it's like I have, we have separate conversations that I can identify quickly. It's like you, it's like, okay, we're talking about podcasting. Um, John, it's when I'm texting him back saying, please never text me again. <laughs> 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 it's like Brian this golf, Dylan's like solo duo. <laughs> okay, we actually do like John. We love him. We actually really like John. It's just we like to give him crap because it's funny. And he, I, I think he finds it funny sometimes. <laughs> he, know. he knows why we give him crap, though. Yeah, yeah. He knows. You know, John. Uh, oh, poor John. <laughs> I feel like we spend a lot of time pooping on all our friends, though. Oh, of like, course. It's just, it's, Dylan is the whitest guy I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was remembering that was a, remembering Dylan dancing was probably one of the funniest things we've done on this. For us personally, because we oh, we experienced it. Um oh, oh, God. I would love to redo Manly's Man Challenge with videotape the whole thing. Oh yeah. You know how funny that would be. Do we use the same challenge or different ones? We'd have to use I talked to Tegan the other day, actually. He said he has a list. No way. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text him and find out if he can send it to me. Or if he still does have it. He says, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Uh, so I'm going to text him to see if he still does have it. And if he does, we should like frame it and commemorate that. Because I'm pretty sure he has scores, too. Yes. We, re- we wrote down scores for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be cool to have. Just to like, put up some wood, put it on his wall or something. <laughs> Yes, we'll have a perfect spot for it. We won't, we won't mention the other thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we're, we're, we're not decorated very well yet. We, we will we'll be. Get there. We will we'll be. get there. <laughs> the, other, the other little cove was decorated nicely. It was. But that's Ian's cove. Yeah. And also, it's like the, the sound from it was kind of wonky. I'm sure you guys that were listening heard it. Um, 
I kind of sound a little, uh, the acoustics in the early wording. Just that kind of echoing, kind of yeah, like boxing it out. You know, you know what I'm saying? Booming. I like booming. Well, it's like you know, if like if you have a guitar and you go to like top into it, you kind of get that boomy voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what it was like in there. I didn't like it. I took time to mess around with. Yeah, no, it makes sense. If this works better, then it makes everything easier, all overall, and I like the place. Yeah. No, this room is enough. The other side. Yeah, you can't see. This is, is, a, is a fairly Ooh. large room. There's enough stuff in here in random places that it kind of interrupts the sound nicely and makes it so it doesn't really echo. I need to learn that stuff because I just be like, oh, I just. Like I learned things. a lot of it when I was in high school because I took music theory and I was like, and we didn't learn it in class specifically, but I was interested in like acoustic environments that sort of thing and like we had sound rooms at school. Um, Thinking back, we had a, like, our high school was so cool. Oh, yeah, our high school was static. It's like we had the really nice turf mm -hmm. for sports, plus, like, four other fields? One, two, three, yeah. We had four other, like, soccer oh, and, fields. and the other baseball fields. Yeah, and then yeah. we had two baseball fields. Yep. No, our school was really static. Nice. And we had a really nice outdoor track. We had a really nice indoor track. We had tennis courts. We had tennis courts. Oh, yeah, we remember this. Um, we had to play again. We do have to play again. It's, it's hard because everybody's working now. And it's like, we could do weekends. I feel like our weekends are so jam-packed now because we were trying to get so much done in that amount of time. I remember high school summers and it was just like, yeah, we could hang out for a week. having, like, summertime. Like, we don't have anything to do for a month. That, that was, was nice. nice. That yeah. was nice. But no, also like what you said, we had we had the, we had an entire department for everything. Like our indoor gym was incredible with the track around it. Um, we had our music department had two large like group rooms, plus like individual sound rooms and music rooms. We had auto shops. Like we, we yeah, had, we had we had a car shop that yeah. like people from the public would like we had. For our shop class, people from the public would bring their cars and like actually get work done and fixed. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, we had a whole media center with hundreds of computers. Watch, wow, it's such a cool high school. Like go, like thinking back on it, if I could use it, like as like, a facility, like if I could pay a monthly subscription to go there, I definitely would. We had also had a good gym. Yeah, like, like, the gym was great. I took, I did not take advantage of those resources, but I never do. I feel like I did. I mean, which is like. Every day after school, I was using something out like it. I was using these tracks, but like that was it. And it's like no, I use the music rooms all the time, because um, like my senior year, I was in like three music classes. I didn't know that. Yeah, I took a lot. I did a lot of music, um, and then we played sports, and I for each different sport we did different things. And then the BFS room, the weight room, called bigger, faster, stronger room. Bigger. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> bigger, faster, bigger, stronger. Than the bigger, just stronger twice. <laughs> no, but the BFS one was actually really nice. Yeah, no. It was a full gym. Yeah. We didn't have any, like, machines you normally think of, like, treadmills and stuff. No, but if you wanted the bikes, you could always bring one in. Yeah, we did have the bikes. We didn't have ellipticals, but like, I don't care about no, those. Like, it, was, it, was, it was purely like a weight room. Yeah. Or, but the, It was a gym, but with only the weight. We had a rock wall. Stuff. We did have a rock wall. We had a rock wall. That's crazy. Yeah, we had the whole outdoor course. Too. And yes, we, we, had, had the, we had the full the adventure course. course. Yeah. That was cool. I never got to use that. I should have taken an adventure, too. That would have been a lot of fun. Yeah. Briggs was teaching it. Yeah. Yeah. Briggs. But thinking back, like, Wachusa would be, like, the best gym like membership co country club or something like that it'd be so nice yes it's like the jcc was a country club essentially or it was it was a, it was a community center you know what you community, community gym place? What's that? Oh, god i don't know it's lifetime gym or something like that i heard that place is fantastic really like it's it's a it's a wicked expensive but my god because I'd love it's, to have a place it's glorious that's not just like a, like the jcc was a gym it's like they had a gym, an actual gymnasium, basketball courts, and then they had a gym, gym, which was like the treadmills, weight room, that sort of thing. Yeah. But it's like that was really it. It was a playground and that sort of thing. Dude, this, I'm telling you, this place, it's it's like you need to have money to do it, but the place yeah. is glorious. Because I paid like fifty dollars a month for like a real nice place to go. 
Like if, if it's like if we, especially like when every weekend. It's like if we could have a place to go and like play so we could play more tennis. We could have a gym to go to. We could uh, that would pay mine do that if all you guys jump. Or you also joining. I'll ask my my cousin what, what gym it is, but I went there with him and it was nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm telling you. If we can if we do that, it'd be worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because especially some of like what you said. They had like the media center and all those like specific sound rooms and that sort of thing. It's like imagine being able to like go to something like that to podcast in, like have the sound boards and everything. We should have, we should open a media center, like a community center. Yeah. That'd be cool. cool. That would be really, really cool. cool. We could we could do fundraising like, donations, stuff like that. I feel like they have things like that in like the cities. Yeah, but out, we're in out, out in the middle of Rutland, obviously we have absolutely nothing. Um, well like having a whole community center, that'd be really cool. Yeah, cool. No, we have a community center, but I think it's just a big empty building that like town reps use to meet in, that sort of thing. I mean, we can we can talk to them. We're adults. We can make the change. Well, we can be the change in the world that we want to that we want to see. Actually, my one of my coworkers at the real estate group, he's a treasurer for yeah. Holman. Yeah, he's on the select, selections board. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. And if we want, we can incorporate all five towns with it. I mean, we would try that, 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 that'd take a lot of new job. I'm sure the, the trying to get that done would be an absolute nightmare, but it'd be cool to try. I will see what we can do. Mm-hmm. I, that's something I'd be interested in. A lot. Of, the big thing would be money. I mean, at that, like at that, that point, costs a lot of money. I mean, at that point, though, it's gonna be it's gonna be donation based because, and then after the donations are in, you can start charging like a like a monthly like something small just to keep it up and running. But it, I feel like it'd just be like a little place where. I think everybody you have that membership what upkeep that sort of thing yeah especially you if you're to. bringing in technologies and that sort of thing true 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 I think it'd be a cool idea mm-hmm. I'm looking to this yeah no, I think it'd be great because one of my one of my dreams is to like have a clubhouse where people can just hang out like anybody yeah but like ha- but um, every- yeah everybody has to pay my cousin in Switzerland he had this place where him and his soccer team Everybody paid a monthly fee to pay for whatever they wanted, like the video games, electricity. They got pizza right next door that they make themselves and everything mm. like that. It was it's was, it's incredible. They That's just cool. all hang in there. They're just like a let to like twenty people just sitting there hanging out all the time. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be super cool to have. I feel like that's like being back at college. Yes, or exactly. back at, or back at in high school or something like that. Yeah, because you have all your friends, you're just hanging out. And yeah, and you can just like do stuff and have all these resources. That's that'd be cool. Yeah. But no, yeah, like, what you said was great. Like, sure, classes suck because it's all school classes suck, I think. Yeah. Teachers, why do you hate me? Like, that's, <laughs> my, that's my real question. Right now. I know why they hate you because you're a pain in the butt. Um, I did good in your class. Yeah, I'm looking at you. You're looking at the wrong camera. I'm looking at me. <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking at you uh, on the monitor. <laughs> I am the teacher now. <laughs> You've got a point. You are the teacher now. You know, I got yelled at for people turning around to talk to me, and I I, I was yelled at for being distracted. <laughs> was it you that did, that took someone's shoe? Was was that you? Remind me of you the took, scenario. Was it like you took Michael's shoe or something? I don't remember who it was, but it was it was either like Michael or Josh or something. But someone took their shoe, right, and like brought it to the other side of the room. And they're making noise about it. And then the kid who took his shoe was like, hey, Michael took my shoe. I, I don't know if it was Michael or not. I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> and Michael, and the teacher, like, yelled at him. Like, give him his shoe back. And he's like, and he's like pulls his feet up over the table. He's like, I'm the one without his shoe. <laughs> it was really funny. I don't think that was me. I would have prevent that. I was going to say, I can see that being in the you or Mike. It, it, was, it was somebody in our group. <laughs> but it's like I, some days I feel like teachers they're so like over it that, that, that they're just like alright I'm going to yell at whoever I can to make things happen <laughs> <laughs> it's like I hate to tell you but you're the example today oh I got I was the example one time for having a bloody nose my nose was bleeding I was like ah oh, there's blood gushing I gotta go get a tissue uh-huh. I picked up I, went, I got up out of my chair to get a tissue and I got yelled at for having a bloody nose. They were like, I was literally like, they were literally like, don't you walk in front of me again. I was like, ah, yes, because I'm going to have this all, go all over my desk. Thank you. Thank you. you, you you're like, the smart one. You look at with the blood dripping in her face. And as soon as you just walk out, it's like, I'm going. <laughs> oh, I hated him. God. I hated him so much. 
I know you don't want dogs, Mel. You don't <laughs> we want dogs. We won't say them. names. But. No. I, I think <laughs> he's on any of them. Oh, really? Do you retire or like a fight? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's spicy. I always wondered, like, some teachers, like, tenure is a horrible thing. Like, some teachers, I'm sure it's a good thing in some ways. Yeah, yeah, But, like, some yeah. teachers they should, who are teaching should not be teaching. No, I agree with that. Like, some of them are just bitter, bitter people. Yeah, and then some of them just give up once they get it. Yeah. And it's just like, come on, dude. It's like, fix yourself. Treat yourself. No, fix yourself. Fix yourself. Treat me. Oh. <laughs> Make me happy. I don't care about you. <laughs> Nobody ever does. <laughs> All right, on that note, I think we're going to call it there for the day. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Like I said, we're trying to... Ah! Okay. <laughs> like I said, we're trying to figure out this whole where we're going to videotape. Um, we're trying to figure out how to make the sound as good as possible. Um, so bear with us. We're still playing around with some things. I think it's getting better. I think uh, so people have told me it's getting better, so that's always encouraging. Um, but anyway, you can find us on YouTube, um, Google Play, iTunes. Uh, Spotify, so make sure to download on all those platforms, um, subscribe on YouTube, like on YouTube, um, put likes on Google Play and iTunes, it helps out a lot. Um, share with all your friends, that's really the biggest way to help us grow. Um, and I else said? Um, I love you all, and you have a wonderful night. Thanks or day, all. wherever you, whatever you're doing. Whatever you're watching. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye. Wait, bye. <laughs> <laughs>